Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Jiu Jitsu Flow. This is a channel, once again, where we're doing body weight workouts based on Jiu Jitsu movements and techniques. Uh, today's gonna be a 30 minute full body hit workout. I uh, hope you enjoy and let's get into it. All right guys, hope you're a good day. Let's do it, start out with warm up breathing. Out of the mouth first. Thirty seconds to go out of the nose. Here we go out of the nose. You can put your hand on your belly to feel your your belly uh, drawing the belly button in on the exhale. Yeah. Good, here we go. Next warm up movement we'll do jumping jacks four way. First one, standard jumping jack. Here we go. Using these warm ups is always to start focusing on our breath, getting it in sync with our body movements. Exhaling as we exert energy and go into a stretch. Inhaling through the transition. And recovery period. At 30 seconds, my arms are gonna change to going forward. Here we go, feet are staying the same. Next one, jumping jacks. Both of our feet and our arms will be going forward. Two, one, go. Here we go. At 30 seconds, we're gonna change to the fourth option that we haven't done yet. Here we go, watch my arms. Gotta get that body coordination. There's our breathing, right? I mean, notice my breathing's a little faster than my movements right now. That's okay. To have your breathing faster than your movements, but you don't want your movements faster than your breath. Good. So next one, we'll go standing knee to chest, heel to butt. We'll start right, right knee first. There we go. Right knee to chest, left heel to butt. Thirty second mark. We're gonna switch sides. Exhaling into the stretch. Here we go, left knee now. Right heel to butt. Standing up nice and tall throughout each movement. Feet together, 
We're doing squats with our legs together. Okay? We're going to work on the mobility here. Go down as low as you can. Trying to keep our feet flat on the ground. to go in front of our toe line. Our butts are going back as we squat down. Three, two, one, rest. Good, all right. Let's go, last warm up. Standing arm flow, right? It's like a limp arm. All right, here we go. In jiu-jitsu grappling movement, when someone has a wizard on us, we got to limp, limp arm out, rotate it forward and out, right? So we're just getting used to being able to have a limp arm, but still control. We're not just flailing our arms everywhere, right? It's a controlled movement. There we go, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Good. All right, guys, go first moving. Gorilla pass, but we're going one arm. Right hand first, all right? One, two. We're just gonna look like hand in the center line of our body in between our legs. Shift 90 degrees. If it's too much on one hand, it's uncomfortable, you can go back to two hands. Try to distribute the weight in your hand evenly between all five fingers, not just in your wrist. Our feet are side shuffling, but not coming together. Here we go, 10 seconds. Good. Now we're going to the left. Breathe. So you're getting dizzy at all. Slow down. Gotta continue breathing. Here we go, left hand in the middle. Rotate to our right. Stand up all the way. Gather yourself if you need to, and then continue to avoid any dizziness. Once again, the hand, we're putting pressure in all five of our fingers and wrists to take off some of the relief on just our wrist. Distributing that weight evenly. Here we go, 10 seconds. Here we go, we're going down, we're jumping to base, right? One hand, back to the right. Holding that hand in the center line of our body again. Our toes, we can be toes up, right? And we're here, jumping all the way up. Strong base. Let's 
Standing all the way up. Once again, distributing that weight evenly between our fingers, trying to help out our wrists. Once again, if the one hand is too difficult, feels uncomfortable, you can go back to two hands right here. When we go one hand, it's getting shifted into the middle of our body, the center line. Here we go, five seconds. Good. Now we're going left hand. Breathe. Here we go. Body coordination, pay attention to what foot is stepping down first, right? I'm not giving a specific one this, this time around, but be aware that you're not stepping down with the right foot every single time, right? We wanna build body coordination, both sides of the body, okay? Getting comfortable doing everything on both sides. Here we go, 10 seconds. Nice. Let's go, we're up. Burning out the legs now, we're doing wrestling squats. Right leg forward, we're in a staggered stance. Here we go, right hands out, left hand, touching the ground, and up. Then stand in front. It's our down block hand, right? When somebody shoots in on us, we're usually palm up to down block, stop their upper body. Let's try to keep our back foot straight and heel off the ground. Let's go, 10 seconds. Nice. Come on, push yourself. Feel the burn, work through it. It'll always be worse, let's go. Left foot forward. Here we go. Left palms up, right leg, foot is straight. Heels off the ground, touching our right hand to the floor, keeping our chest up, looking up. Thirty seconds. Ten seconds, come on. Oh, Feeling it. Rest. Oh, nice. Wow, oh, keep moving, keep moving. Let's go. Sagger stand, shuffle, right leg forward. Here we go. Two steps forward, two steps to the side, two steps back, two steps back to neutral or neutral. We go forward, it's the front leg. We go to the left, it's the left. Right, it's the right. Back, it's the back. For a nice athletic stance. Our feet are never coming together. They're never crossing up. We're going two steps each direction.
Different methodologies probably. But I should have done. Whether it's MMA, grappling, whatever. Usually you go two steps back. You want to start circling your moving directions. No more than two steps back, right? Good. Let's go. Left, left foot forward now. Here we go. You want to think about being balanced throughout each step. So if you had to change directions on the dime, you're able to do so. Our back foot, our back heel is off the ground. There we go, 10 seconds. Let's go. There we go. Keep moving. We're going to go. A standing front choke. Escape. All right? We're stepping the right leg back first. Here we go. Feet are starting parallel. We're going to cross our hands. Right? We're going to lower our body. Duck out. And back. Let's add shoulders. We're gonna raise our shoulders before we go. Raise the shoulders and go. It's like we're raising our shoulders, tucking our chin. So if somebody were to try to grab, choke you and standing in front of you, we're, we're closing that gap. Ducking through and out. Our hands are crossed because when we lower our face, we gotta be able to protect it from a knee. Good. Now the left foot's going back. Here we go. Raising the shoulders, dropping the chin, going forward and back. Even cross your hands, right? Pay attention to which hand the first go around was over one another. You do the opposite. We're joining us do the same thing. Use the same side because it's comfortable. It's our strong side. The only way to build the weak side is to work it and be aware. There we go, 10 seconds. Last one. All right, let's go, last standing movement. You already know what it is. Get these burpees in. Now we're going on the ground. Come on, here we go. Get a nice steady pace. Goals to maintain. The movement for the full minute. Once you can go for the full minute non-stop, then you start worrying about your numbers and start tracking them and increasing them. But first, we're trying to get through the whole minute maintaining movement. Get your breath. Ten seconds. Nice. Let's go. We're down to the floor. 
Side mount shoulder pressure. Alternating sides. There we go. Right hand over left. <clears throat> Dropping the shoulder. Heads on the opposite side. And switching. Exhaling as the shoulder drops. At 30 seconds, we're switching. Whatever hands on the bottom is going to the top. Here we go, switch sides, or switch hands. Feels awkward, huh? Straightening our legs, changing sides that our head's on. Try to lock those legs all the way out. We're on the ball of our feet. At 30 seconds, we'll switch again. Whatever hands on the bottom is gonna go to on top. Feel your quads engaging as you straighten your legs. Let's go switch hands. Come on, 10 seconds. forearms. There we go. On our hands, dropping down to the right forearm. Pushing up with the right hand. Switching sides. Dropping down to the left forearm. Pushing up with the left. And we're alternating. Nice and controlled. Engaging our core. Keeping everything nice and tight. At the very least, we're keeping our body off the ground. If you need to hold a plank, do so. But ultimately, we want to keep our body off the ground. At the very least, let's go. 10 seconds. Nice. Awesome, guys. Here we go. <laughs> We're going to be sitting back in a deep squat. Hands reached out, arms straight. We're jumping. Feet up to hands. We're then jumping back. Long stretch and jump. Going back and forth. I know they do this in yoga. I just don't know the name of it. Someone help me out and tell me. That'd be great. guys. Almost done. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Nice. Here we go. We're on our back. Straight bridges. Feet shoulder width apart. Engage our glutes at the top. Exhaling as we go up. Inhaling as we go down. Elbows 
Side by our side. Switching, we can use our nose breathing or out of the mouth. Nose is harder. Three, two, one, rest. Good. Here you go. Knee drive, knee drive bridges. Left knee first, we're pushing off the right leg. Here we go. Jiu Jitsu, think of their opponent is mounted on top of us. We're using a knee bump in their, in their butt region to get their weight going forward. We can then start looking to trap ankles, hip escape, recover our guard. But we want to get their weight off balance in a certain direction. Let's go switch sides, right knee now. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Good. Awesome, guys. All right, let's go. Last bridge. Three. We're gonna bridge and we're gonna sidestep. Here we go. We we'll bridge. Sidestep to the right twice. Back to the middle. Sidestep to the left twice. Back to the middle. Right? We're going two steps to the right, two steps to the left. Keeping our hips up. As we go to the left, it's the left foot that leads. As we go to the right, it's the right foot that leads. Nothing new. There we go. 10 seconds. Keep the hips up. Good. Nice, guys. Come on, almost done. We got bottom mount crunches. Stay our back feet are flat. We're reaching in between our feet, sitting up, touching our toes, our big toes, and down. Keeping our feet planted to the ground. Pressing into the ground as we come up. There we go. Almost done, 15 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Good. Let's go. Nice, guys. Awesome job. Let's go and finish up with two minutes. Cool down breath. First minute, we'll be on the mouth. This is still uh, uh, part of, the, part of the, the, the exercise, right? So it's fast. Drawing the belly button in on the exhale, let's go.
Here we go, out of the nose now. And time. Awesome job, guys. Um, <clears throat> hope you guys enjoyed this workout. Uh, you know, you can take these movements, work on them for a week, right? This, this could be your, your HIIT workout, three, four days a week, then work in a mobility workout um, uh, you know, every other day, see how it feels on the body. Um, our breathing, the last two minutes we just did, it's part, of a, it's, it's part of the workout. We're, we're, we're strengthening our diaphragmatic muscles and a transverse abdominis in our, our, our lower back area, right? This, this diaphragm breathing is one way to really target that lower back. Um, but we gotta build the muscles. Once you build them, then you can start controlling more. Uh, be aware of your breath. And especially when we get back on the mats, able to train, we wanna be able to have the, the slow, deep breathing. And then when we're in a tough situation, we have a lot of weight on us, whatever the situation may be, be able to, to uh, thrive with short, quick breaths as well and be comfortable there. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel. Um, if you have any questions, you can hit me up at jujitsuflow.com, shoot me a message. Uh, and yeah, hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.